Yo, yo. All right, I'd like to promote this guy real fast, Jonathan KC. Uh, he's been a supporter of mine for a while, and I've, been, I've promoted his channel as well a few times before. This guy's a real nice guy, and I, I feel like a real talented astrologer. He recently did my um, uh, birth chart, and I thought it was great. I loved it. And so if you're interested, by all means, hit him up. $20 minimum, uh, twenty uh, half hour is what mine was. But you can barter this and that with him for the price or the length or whatever the case may be. But I really liked it, and it's pretty fun, man. It's pretty amazing to – I've never met this guy, and for – him to go in a half hour and be like, oh, because you have this there and that there, you're this, this, and this. And even my wife has watched this with me a couple times, it's jaw-dropping. I mean, it's just incredible how it's like very perceptive. It's like, holy shit, it's like you really have met me before. It's crazy. So if you're interested, please hit him up. Now, I want to show you something since we're talking about stars and planets. Absolutely mind-blowing, fascinating to me. So let's start with this, all right? The sun is weakening in this sense that its magnetic hold on everything is it's it's weakening its magnetic hold on the solar system and say what you want about the planets the stars the magnetic fields all this stuff you can go out i've seen it with my own eyes i've seen the moon do literal cartwheels in the sky i have that's my own experience though so something very strange is going on and it says, because the sun's magnetic dy dynamo is weakening, its magnetic hold on the solar system is weakening. But you have an, an insane uh, uptick and record-breaking, not-predicted rise in solar uh, irradiance and these cosmic rays. But these don't come from the sun. They come through the sun. The cosmic rays come from the, what they call the galactic center that come through the sun. But either way... It's weakening, but it's also glowing red hot and is getting crazy at the same time. But right now, this is insane to me. I don't understand how this can be. So the sun is losing its, its hold on the solar system because its magnetic dynamo is weakening. All right? Now, days on Earth are getting longer thanks to the moon. Now, listen to this. The moon is about four and a half billion years old, blah, blah, blah. The natural satellite slowly spirals away from Earth at a rate of about 1.5 inches per year, causing our planet to rotate more slowly around its axis. So they're saying the days are getting longer because the moon, did you hear that? It's drifting away at 1.5 inches a year now. So in under a decade, this thing's going to be over a foot away. How is that not going to have profound impact and as you can clearly see, how is the weather doing? This place is shaking, and it's, it's insane. Now, here's what I don't understand. So if the, if the sun's magnetic uh, hold is weakening, and the moon is drifting away at an alarming 1.5 inches a year, which is going to cause our days to get longer, which means they're going to add another month to the calendar, just like they did in The Simpsons, which is 13 they call it Smarch. In Labyrinth, they have, there were 13 hours on a clock because we have 12 signs, so 12 months. And they're talking about Ophiuchus, the 13th sign, getting added now all of a sudden. Because time and space is going to change whenever this big calamity happens. But regardless, you're looking at it right now. But here's what I don't understand. So if the moon's drifting away and the sun's losing its hold on a magnetic field, then how is it that, that, Na or excuse me, that Saturn is losing its rings at worst case scenario rate. This was December of last year. NASA research reveals Saturn is losing its rings at worst case scenario rate. Now listen to this. This is what I don't understand. New NASA research confirms that Saturn is losing its iconic rings at the maximum rate estimated from Voyager 1 and 2 observations made decades ago. The rings are being pulled into Saturn by gravity. So Saturn is eating its own, it's eating itself. It's consuming, which I've shown you the, the Mayan calendar. It shows the guy eating the fish. That's Saturn consuming everything. So everything is, the sun itself is losing its grip on the solar system, but not Saturn. Saturn's growing and it's eating itself. What in the actual fuck? And that's the story. Saturn eats its own kids. And here's the thing, right? 
What are Saturn's rings made of? Saturn's rings are made of billions of pieces of ice, dust, and rocks. Look at the one word they have in bold. Ice. So water. Right? This is, a, to me, I th this, again, me speaking. My own opinion. This is a water containment spell. That's what this is. And you keep hearing of being born again, right? Well, that has to happen through the water. And the Hoover Dam breaking, resembling the, uh, signifying the birth of the New World Order. These things are falling, or they're, they're Saturn is eating them at a, at a intense, picking, not predicted rate. It's worst case scenario, just like the cosmic rays. Coming in at a rate we never could have predicted. The magnetic pole drifting at a rate we never could have pre predicted. And all these things, alarming rates. Great job, science. Great job. Way to go. And they tell you that Saturn is like 4.5 billion, 4 billion, which is great, because that's 9. And that's the hexagon. That's the vortex. That's the number 6, the number 9. It's the same CERN logo. So that's amazing. They say that, 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 that Saturn's rings are 4.5 billion years old. Or excuse me, that Saturn itself is 4.5 billion years old. But the rings are only like a couple hundred million years old. So the rings are new. And now they're going away like that again. Because the story is that Saturn was the sun, but then it went dark. It became bad. And so now it's been contained by this water spell which is Pisces, which is where we were, but now we're in Aquarius, which is air. And so ice, water, this water spell is going to be broken and the age of the air is going to be born. That's what I think. And that's why I even have the royal family, man. Their whole, na their whole name is based off the stars. They used to be called Wetton, the house of Wetton, but then they're German. They're not British, they're German. But since the Germans, they had, there was such an anti-German sentiment after World War I that they changed their name to Windsor to escape their German heritage. So look that up. If you don't know that, look that up. The royal family is German. That's why they have pictures and videos of, of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles doing the Zeke Hail. Look that up. There's pictures and videos of that. That comes out every now and then. The news puts it out every now and then. That's all legitimate. And they try, you know, they, oh yeah, well, we're not, you know, they try to explain it away, this, that, and the other. But that's why they're caught doing that shit, because that's what they do. And they're even Prince Charles, or whatever the hell he even says, we're descendants of Vlad the Impaler. They're, and they even have, they're cannibals. That even the news has even reported that. I'm getting off track. But anyway, they changed their name from Wetton to Windsor. Pisces to Aquarius. Wetton, water, Pisces, Windsor, air, Aquarius. So how, seriously, how is it that the sun is losing its, its hold on magnetically on that solar system, but Saturn's is getting stronger and it's literally eating itself? How is that possible? How is the magnetic pole moving so quickly? How is the moon drifting at one and a half inches away a year now? These are not just small... Now I'll go back to watching Facebook and not even think about this shit, guys. Like, seriously... You have, that, you have that story that just came out about the magnetic pole literally screaming away from where it should be. And then a few months before this, you have the, the entire globe was rocked by this seismic wave on 11-11 that no one knows what the hell happened for 20 minutes. These cosmic rays are coming in so hot, they're coming in through the Arctic ice. Can you guys not see what's happening? My phone's going off. Gotta go.